Trick or treat, Leicester City cannot be beat. What is going to happen in the championship this week? Well, we're going to take a little look at my picks and your picks, and they're coming at you right about now. <laughs> Today we're taking a look at match number 14, of course, in the championship. And if you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang at it. All things Rovers related, championship related, world football related. We're going to all hear boys on this spooky spectacular. That's right, Halloween is approaching. Who's going to have a Halloween horror this weekend? We'll take a look at it all of it in a second, of course. Big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons, of course. You know who you are. And again, make sure you bang the old like, guys. Get the YouTube algorithm working for you. Of course, get technology working for you, not you working for technology. Of course, by smashing the like, you're going to get other championship content, not necessarily necessarily by me but other folks out there and it'll pipeline into you so do uh, do yourself a favor by also doing this video a favor and smashing the likey likey also if you are new smash your subscribe a whopping 78 percent of you are unsubscribed guys we want to get that number a little bit closer to the money but anyway enough of jibber jabber it's leicester city ipswich town still kicking ass and taking names at the top of the table but will they still do that this weekend on halloween spectacular we'll take a little look at it right about now then of course recapping the results first my picks your picks and of course and there's a familiar name uh, at the top of the table over in the super brew wow wow we wow it's not me uh by a long shot uh anyway top of the table there of course the game of the week of, of course was millwall against rovers 2-1 winners it was for rovers back to winning ways continuing the business meanwhile uh cardiff with a big 4-0 win over over huddersfield town i went the other way as well um also borough 2-1 win over norwich on the road big win there 3-1 win for me the other way and another one watford 1-0 winners over swansea in Wales, uh, I went the other way as well. Uh, Garley. Meanwhile, I did get this one right. Leicester City won the winners of a Sunderland. I went with a 3 0 win. West Brom, 2 0 winners of a QPR. I got them spot on the nose as well. Uh, Birmingham and uh, Birmingham lost. Rain Rooney FC lost again. 2 0 lost at home. The whole city. Uh, Ipswich continue to do what they do. 1 0 winners on the road against Bristol City. Plymouth with a 3 0 win of our Sheffield Wednesday. I went with a 2 0. Uh, Preston off N2 and, and um, Southampton 2. I went with a 2 1 win myself. Rotherham with a 2 0 win of Coventry City. I went with a draw myself on that one. And Stoke with a big win over Leeds. 1 0 win in the end. Uh, so pretty grim. I'm not really going to add those numbers up because I think I did pretty shitty uh, in, in my regards. But this is the table right here, right now. Of course, as you can see in the Championship with Leicester City running away with it. They're completely streets ahead. Ipswich town though of course other serious contenders as well uh whopping nine points clear i believe i do my maths yeah white points clear of it and a game in hand as well game in hand uh leeds preston southampton and west brom in the mix so they're going down rotherham qpr and sheffield wednesday rovers off the push up to 11th thank fuck for that uh but we'll see how we are we get on in the super brewski here we go then guys let's of course have a look at how i and you guys got on in the super brewski so let's get into it and of course let's give a big round of applause to philly pete oh my day 17 points of the board well done philly pete big big mover as well on the main leaderboard we'll see that in a second wang fang up there right on his ass i like that name wang fang dj horn as well hands worse russell for some good names some big names some strong names as well but where am i where am i, I don't even want to see it uh, let's put a bit, bit of distance between myself and and, and uh, Philly Pete there. I don't even know. I'm down here, 5.5. You know what? Hey, swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step up my game, step up my game very, very soon. Of course, that's the situation there. Uh, so if you do see a name, guess what? Smash your like, of course, and uh, look at this. Tip to the top of the table, 377 tops the bin still. Uh, Vinnie Hong's in sec a joint, a joint top there. James BCFC up one spot as well. But big mover. Where is he, Philly Pete? Up 11 spots. To number 19 he's making a push Jochen Bjarkerson up there as well uh, and the rest of the pack uh, I not even gonna look for it 37th I'm 37th down two not great Kevin down 16 34 well well we well oh my Mexican sniper down 15 uh, some big dropper Rooney's there again if you see your name smash the old like of course but it doesn't doesn't end season doesn't end there guys season doesn't end in October God, no 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 so you got to be in it to win it and of course uh, I'm still in it and I'm hoping to win it I, I'm gonna keep on going I probably won't win uh, but but I'm gonna give it a go uh, anyway uh, let's get going of course these are the next round of games of course coming at you uh, bish bash bosh so let's jump in the deep that's the link it's all in there so get involved and we're going to start with a bit of a banger it's Sunderland it is of course uh, Norwich City coming at you uh, on Saturday 
October the 28th. Played each other 23 times in 1995. Got eight wins for Sunderland, 10 wins for Norwich, and five draws, of course. Biggest win for Sunderland. Three near wins, scoring 25 goals in 23 matches, 1.09 goals a game, of course. Uh, the Canaries, uh, ten, uh, the biggest win for them. Three one wins, scoring 22 goals in 23 matches, 1.96 goals a game. Mar Norwich just one win in six. A uh, bit of a bit of a concern, maybe growing for the Canaries fans. 25% form for them right now, 14 for the table, and 17 points on the board. Up against Sunderland, two wins the last six, 30% form for them right now, three defeats on the bounce, of course. But they've had a tricky run in. I'll give Mowbray a bit of bit of a uh, bit of a uh, uh, you know kudos to that uh, 10th of the table and 19 points on the board of course last time around though over at the stadium that was a one to win for Norwich back in August 2022 in fact the home side hasn't won this game since Norwich beat Sunderland at Carrow Road back in 2014 in the Premier League but yes let's have a look at Sunderland's last matches Leicester Stoke both of those away games Middlesbrough uh, so very difficult they just scores one goals in three though for, for Sunderland at the moment meanwhile Norwich again losing the Middlesbrough and losing the Leeds drawing with Coventry <laughs> As well, so not great form for both these two sides. Both sides looking for a win. Even Stevens is your Sunderland here. 11 to 4 is the draw, and 5 to 2 is your away win. Tight gonna go with a draw again. Doesn't really help anybody on this one. Uh, point to the bag, and of course, moving on to the next one. There we go. Game of the day. I will be on the hot seat for this one. Uh, before my travels, that's right. Rovers against Swansea at Ewood Park. Played each other 13 times since 2011. Got five wins for Rovers, 14 wins for uh, sorry, four wins for Swansea, four draws, of course. Biggest win for Rovers, three near wins, scoring 20 goals in 13 matches, 1.54 goals a game. Up against Swansea, their biggest win, three. Neil wins scoring 19 goals in those 13 matches 1.46 goals a game Swansea on 67% form for them right now two defeats on the spin 19 for the table and 15 points on the board up against Rovers three wins on the bounce 67% form for them right now 11th in the table and 19 points on the board last time around though in, in Rovers was a one to win for Blackburn who, who did the double over Swansea last season without conceding a goal uh, but the odds for this one we have Rovers even Steams for the victory 11 to 4 is your draw 5 to 2 is your Swansea I'm backing my boys here 2 no win for them uh, goals coming from all over the place right now that's all I can say goals coming from anywhere no idea who will score but uh, hopefully the wins will continue meanwhile in Wales it is Cardiff City against Bristol City they each other 32 times in 2002 we've got 16 wins for Cardiff 11 wins for Bristol City and 5 draws of course biggest win for Cardiff 6 nil wins scoring 44 goals in 32 matches 1.38 goals a game up against Bristol City their biggest win 3 nil wins scoring 34 goals in 32 matches 1.06 goals a game Bristol City of course hot and cold right now 32 33% uh, form for them 2 wins the last 6 they are 12th in the table up against Cardiff 2 wins the last 6 also 42% form for them uh, still in 7th with 20 points on the board right now. Last around in Wales, 2 0 win it was for Cardiff back in March 2023. Um, of course, the odds for this one we have Cardiff 6 5 for the victory, 5 2 is draw, 11 5 is your away win here. Of course, Cardiff still in the mix, going to go over to them as well. 3 1 win at home, uh, they're going to be difficult to beat. Meanwhile, we have Coventry City against West Brom. That's a game that's uh, on its own on a Monday night. That's right, on wet again, uh, of course, at the Rico. Play each other 15 times, 2 1 got 3 wins for Coventry, 10 wins for West Brom, and 2 draws, of course. Biggest win for Coventry, 4 2 win scoring seven goals in those 15 matches 0.47 goals a game up against West Brom their biggest win 5 nil win scoring 26 goals in 15 matches 1.73 goals a game 0.47 goals a game for Coventry in this fixture just 7 goals scored meanwhile West Brom just 1 defeat past 6 6 7 7 form for them right now they are in the playoffs with 6 spot and 20 points on the board up against Coventry uh, 3 games now without a win 50% form for them over the last 6 1 2 lost 2 and drawn 2 down to 20th 15 points on the board right now last time round though over at the Rico was a 1 win for Coventry back in December 2022 uh um, uh, of course, the odds for this one on a Monday 13 to 10 is your commentary, 23 to 10 is your 11 to 5 is your away win here. Gonna be tight here, gonna expect goals in it though. 2 2. Of course, I did say not many goals for commentary, but they're gonna write the wrong on that one. Got a bit of cramp in my left leg here uh, as we build up to kickoff. Wow, bit of painful thing on this Halloween spooktacular. Meanwhile, Middlesbrough up against Stoke, of course, come at you at the, at the Riverside. Played each other 20 times since 1983. We've got eight wins for Middlesbrough, six wins for Stoke, six draws, of course. Biggest win for Borough, three nil wins, scoring 24 goals in 20 matches, 1.20 goals a game. Up against Stoke, their biggest win, two nil wins, scoring 20 goals in 20 matches. Of course, you could do the math on that one. Meanwhile, Stoke, three wins the last six, 50% form for them right now, 17 for the table and 16 points on the board. Up against Borough, six wins on the bounce, so all the way up to ninth right now and uh, 20 points on the board right now, looking A-OK. -okay. Last round, though, in the Riverside was a 1-1 draw. In fact, back-to-back -back draws between these two sides, both home and away. Uh, the odds for this one, Borough, 4-3 to three on for the victory, 3-1 to one is the draw, and 10-3 uh, to three is just Stoke here. Again, I don't think the run's going to stop here, Mora. Keep on keeping on and making a push for them top six. That's right, kicking on forward. It is Southampton against Birmingham. Wayne Mooney FC, that's coming at you. Early kickoff on Saturday. Now these two sides have played each other 14 times. We've got four wins for Southampton. Uh, we've got seven wins for Birmingham. We've got three draws, of course. Biggest win for the Saints. 4-1 win, scoring 19 goals in 14 matches. 
six goals a game. Up against Birmingham, their biggest win, 2 1 win, uh, 18 goals scored in 14 matches, 1.29 goals a game. The Brummies, uh, two wins in the last six, 40% form for them right now, 12th in the table, and 18 points on the board. Rooney FC, though, no wins out of none, uh, no wins out of two. Meanwhile, Southampton back to uh, at least an unbeaten run, 67% uh, form for them right now, still fifth. <laughs> 21st in the table, unbeaten in the last five. Three wins at the last uh, uh, six matches. Last time around, though, at Southampton 4-1 when it was back in September 20, 2011. Wow, wow, we've been in a long, long time, guys. But the odds here, 5-3 on is your Southampton red hot. 3-1 on is draw. 92, you're Rooney FC. They're going to lose this one as well. 2-1 win. They might make a game of it, but 2-1 uh, win. Southampton with the spoils. Next up, we have Watford against Millwall. And oh, it's sort of great, a London affair. Now, these two sides have played each other uh, 31 times. In we've got 15 wins for Watford. We've got 11 wins for Millwall. We've got five draws, of course. Biggest win for Watford. Six. 1 win scoring 39 goals in 31 matches 1.26 goals a game up against uh, 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 Millwall their biggest win 4 0 wins scoring 33 goals in uh, 31 games 1.06 goals a game um, Barrett still that at the helm for Millwall when's this new manager coming in that circle is a big question mark uh, just 1 win in 6 then 42% form for them 16 for the table and 16 points on the board up against Watford unbeaten in the last 3 now making a push uh, 15 for the table and 16 points on the board they are 42% form right now and looking pretty good for themselves last round though over at Vicar Ridge Road it was a 2 0 win for Millwall who did the double over Watford last round, uh, both home and away. But the odds right here, right now, we've got Watford even steams for the victory. 23 to 10 is your draw, 3 to 1 is your long shots. That's Mill. They're going to lose this one. Watford are going to get another win and start to believe in the Valerian Ishmael. Meanwhile, Hull City against Preston. This is a bit of a zinger, this one. Uh, both sides in the real contenders for playoffs at the moment. Played each other 21 times since 2005. We've got 8 wins for Hull. We've got 9 wins for Preston. We've got 4 draws, of course. Biggest win for Hull. 4 0 wins, scoring 32 goals in 21 matches, 1.52 goals a game. Up against North End, their biggest win, 3 0 wins, scoring 27 goals in 21 matches 1.29 goals a game Preston without a window in the last six they are 25% form they are fourth in the table still up against Hull 50% uh, form for them right now one two lost two and drawn two just one win in five though uh, that was my most recently this past midweek eight for the table and 20 points on the board of course Hull could leapfrog Preston with a win going their way last round though, over at the K Cup was a nil nil draw back in uh, February 2023 Hull have not scored against Preston in the last three occasions both home and away. The odds on this one, we have even steam as your hull. 5-2 to is your draw and 14-5 to five is your away win here. Another tight one could go either way, but I'm bagging on uh, Hull City to get the win. 3-1 win, making another push uh, for a playoffs and denting North End's hopes for main maintaining in the mix. Meanwhile, uh, Ipswich gets Plymouth last time around. These two sides were in League 1. In fact, Plymouth... Uh, came out on top, I believe, against Ipswich in the table. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, play each other, uh, of course, 18 times. 2004, we've got eight wins at Ipswich, four for Plymouth. Six draws, of course. Biggest win for the Tractor Boys. Three nil wins, scoring 25 goals in 18 matches. 1.39 goals a game. Up against Plymouth, the Green Army. Two nil win, their biggest. Just 18 scored in 18 games. Of course, of course, you could do the math on that one. 50% form for Plymouth. Right now, 1-2, lost to and drawn two. Back down to 18th table with 15 points on the board. Up against Ipswich, winning five of the last six. 92% uh, form for them. Our second in the table and 31 points on the board. Last round, though, over at... Uh, Portman Road it was a draw back in January 2023 uh, Plymouth of course unbeaten against them last season in League 1 but this is the championship of course 5-2 uh, on is your Ipswich 4-1 draw 13-2 is your way and half Plymouth got the uh, the ingredients the, the algorithm the, the speaking of algorithms like 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 uh, have they got the cool, the ingredients to beat Ipswich not on this time not on your Nelly either 3 no win for Ipswich uh, continuing where they left off as well Leeds United up against Huddersfield as the early kickoff on Saturday 28th of October played each other 19 times so 2004, we got nine wins for Leeds, eight wins for Harrisville, and two draws, of course. Biggest win for Leeds, 5-1 wins, scoring 36 goals in 19 matches, 1.89 goals a game. Up against Huddersfield, their biggest win, 4-1 wins, scoring 24 goals in 19 matches, 1.26 goals a game. Huddersfield, 42% form for them right now, just one win in six. 21st in the table and 14 points on the board. On the board. Up against Leeds United, uh, four wins the last six, 67% form for them. They are third with 22 points on the board right now. And, of course, coming to on the back of a 2-0 win last time round at Ellen Road in March 2020. But the odds right here are now Leeds are 11-4 on for the victory Red Hot Bay. 50 to 4 is the draw, and 8 to 1 is, of course, your Huddersfield. We're going to go with the hosts here. Of course, uh, losing last time around, they'll bounce back at home and make us real at least give it a shot for the automatics as well next up we have qpr against leicester city of course down at loftus road can qpr shock the world of football with a, a defeat of uh leicester but played each other 19 times in 1994 we got eight wins for qpr seven wins for leicester four draws of course biggest win for qpr two nil wins scoring 29 goals in 19 matches 1.53 goals a game up against leicester their biggest win 5-1 wins scoring 30 goals in 19 matches 
58 goals a game. Leicester winning five of the last uh, five on the spin. Uh, of course, top of the table and 36 points on the board. 83% form for them right now. Up against QPR, complete opposites. Uh, five defeats on the spin right now. 23, uh, 23rd on the table and eight points on the board. Last round over at Loftus Road in competitive action was a 3-2 win for QPR. Wow, wow, we were back in November 2014. That was in the Prem de la Prem. Uh, of course, the odds here though, 50 to 2 is your QPR, 5 to 2 on is your less than 50 to 4 is your draw. It's in London, so you never know. You never know. But I'm going to go with a 3 1 for Leicester, uh, continuing their domination. Sheffield Wednesday against Rotherham. A bit of a zing zong, of course, a bit of a derby. Uh, that's on Sunday at Hillsborough. Played 21 times, 201. Nine wins for Sheffield Wednesday, eight wins for Rotherham, and four draws, of course. Biggest win for Wednesday, 2 0 wins, scoring 32 goals in 21 matches, 1.52 goals a game. Up against Rotherham, their biggest win, 3 0 wins, scoring 31 goals in 21 matches, 1.48 goals a game. Rotherham, 33% form for them right now, 22nd at the table with nine points on the board. Back to back games without a loss. Up against Sheffield Wednesday, winless in 13. 8% uh, form for them right now, 24th in the table with just three points on the board. Of course, can this be the game that Sheffield Wednesday get the victory? Last round over at Hillsborough was a 2 0 win for Rotherham back in March. Uh, when I say March, I mean February 2022. That was in League One. The odds for this one we have Wednesday, 11 to 10 on. They are favoured here. 12 to 5 is draw. 10 to 3 is your away win. I don't know. I think I've gone, but yes, I've gone with the away win here. 2 1 win for Rotherham. Sheffield Wednesday, dog shit. That will probably be a uh, one of the many, many nails in the coffin for uh, for Sheffield Wednesday here, as it does not look good by, be by losing to your rival at home of course and that completes the pack guys and that completes my picks make sure you get your own picks in as well and of course this is what the table will look like uh, Leicester City Ipswich remaining dominant Leeds Southampton Cardiff and Hull City in the playoffs Middlesbrough and Rovers sneaking in on them and potentially within striking distance of third in the table we'd love to see it Rotherham United keep you out and Wednesday going down of course don't get it too that's uh, that's that's mysterious because it's it's not meant to be there but anyway make sure you like 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 the video of course make the YouTube algorithm work for you guys and also subscribe 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 get their whopping 78% of you are not watching this 78% uh, uh, of the, the viewers are not subscribed we've got to get those numbers down a little bit guys anyway be safe out there if you trick or treat and of course it could be a very scary night this weekend in the football uh, sense but until then I'll see you soon and of course be safe and of course subscribe